after the eggled applicator creates the crispest cube crisp bleh. hi everybody welcome back to my channel no do not adjust your listening devices elmer fudd has not taken over my channel i'm just really sick <laughs> so for if you're new here hi my name is leanne i do not normally sound like snuffleupagus um i just happen to have a very bad annoying cold but I got my Allura box in the mail and I was super excited. I have no patience um, to wait to open these things and <laughs> I just, I have to film. It doesn't matter if I look like, you know, Dawn of the Dead, um, but I have to open them. I did attempt to slightly look normal, ignore the Rudolph uh, and foundation coming off my nose, uh, but it will continue to disappear <laughs> because I will be wiping my nose uh, 50 times in this video. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to open up my box and I'm going to use my Hello Kitty box cutter from my friend here on YouTube, Clara Barrera. Um, she's the sweetest person in the world and she sent that to me and I use it every single time. If you are unaware about what Allura box is, it's a $15 a month subscription. I know $5 higher than a lot of the other boxes. You can get your first box for $10. They have codes all over the place if you are looking for one because I could never find them. If you're looking for one, go to my subscription addiction and you can find a code to save you $5 off of your first box. They always come in red. The only one we ever got that was black was the Special Cat Avon D box. Opening up the box, they always give you a pamphlet. It always has a bottle on the front, and it's always very beautifully done. Oh, in case you're interested, I want to make myself feel better, and I have my little Halloween sweatshirt on. And that I love. It makes me feel better. It's warm and cozy. Anyway, I'm not going to look at this because I don't want to know what we are getting. Always plain white paper for the most part, and let's see, at least it's a decently full box. The first thing I'm pulling out is, I just received a sample of this in my other box, and this is the Caution by, try that again, Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. I'm very curious to see the color of the packaging, and yep, it is still that triangle shaped mascara so I do have one of these I believe the actual product itself is gold the next thing I see is from Caudalie it is the Aveeno pure skin perfecting serum I don't know what this is supposed to do I do like the brand Caudalie I have some experience with some of their products and their ingredient base I do not know about this I'm happy to have a serum and I will read up on it and let you know Pulling out the next product, I have received this multiple times before. This is quite a large um, sample though, I have to say. This is um, actually one full fluid out, so this is a, a hefty size, and it is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream for its intense hydration for dry, parched skin. I do like this. I haven't given it enough of a shot. Now that I think the winter is coming. I'm gonna try this again. I have many other samples that I'm gonna, let's hopefully this is sealed. And no, it's not. Um, I'm going to use the other samples that I have first before I actually try this. But I will sample this serum. Ooh, it, it's very thin, I can tell you that. As it squirted right out. <laughs> Even with my stuffy nose. It has a, a bit of a strong smell. If I can smell it right now, it's got a strong smell. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't have, um, it has a little bit of a sticky texture, but it dissipates. It smells very herbally, um, organic type, and my hand is like actually completely dry. It's like I put nothing on. I'll be curious to read up on that. Ooh. Just the logo makes, alone makes me very happy. This is from YSL. This is a tatouage, a couture from YSL. It says it is a bat stain, but I'm curious about this. I don't know how I feel about stains. Very pretty packaging though. Um, this is matte and it's just, it's attractive. It's got a nice soft touch feel to it. 
This is a very interesting doe foot applicator. I want to see if you can see that. Do you see how it is kind of widened on the edges and it flattens in the middle? Very curious. Interesting. I do want to try this on. The color is stunning. It is the perfect color for me. It is very liquidy going on. It almost has a cooling effect to it. Well, I could say a couple of things about it. It's still drying down, but as you can see, it's not tacky so that my lips are sticking together or anything like that, which is really good. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't really feel drying or anything like that. And I said the color for me, I think, is my perfect color. Now what's going to be interesting is I want to see how well it stays on if I happen to blow my nose for like the 10,000th time. I'll see about that. Very cool. I have never tried that before. The next thing I'm pulling out is a tidier tube. I have tried this before and I do very much like it. A small sample, but it is the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. It is their lactic acid treatment. I have tried this. I do enjoy it. I think the ingredients back it up. If any of you want to address the issue that just arose with Sunday Riley in the comments, I will be happy to give my opinion about it. I didn't want to drag it out in this video. I will be very happy to discuss it with you uh, in the comments because it doesn't make me very happy to find this out about this company. The next thing in the bag is came in its own little bag and this is actually the ceramic slip cleanser from also from Sunday Riley and it is nicely safety sealed. I have not tried this before so I'll be very curious. I said this is quite a generous size. This is one and a half. No, is it one fluid ounce? I believe it is one fluid ounce. Can I break up an interesting point again? This is twice now. Why is it every time a company has a controversial situation occur, those products are in an Allure Beauty Box? If you don't know what I'm talking about, the last time this occurred was just a couple of months ago. There was a specific Kat Von D box. That box came out and just maybe a week before there was the whole debacle with Kat Von D and her anti-vaccination thing. I don't know, maybe it's a conspiracy theory. I just find that really interesting. If you guys think so, let me know as well. Regardless, <laughs> this is very generous size. I'll be curious to see how much of this actually costs. The last thing we are getting is in a very adorable package. And this is from BKR Paris. I haven't heard of that before. It's called BKR Paris Water Balm Ultra Hydrating Glossy Lip Treatment. I'll be curious to know how much this is. A little teeny tiny jar. By the way, I think this is dried down. I'm going to do a kiss test. Hold on. Yeah, it's not transfer proof or anything like that. But it's really comfortable. This doesn't smell like anything unless my nose doesn't work. I can barely get my finger in the jar. Hey, it's a bomb. <laughs> but you ever get the feeling that it's like, you know, a $95 lip balm or something like that? Okay, let's get into this booklet because I have got some deep curiosity about this stuff. If you notice, we did get six products in here, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, excuse me, I can't count. Yeah, we got seven products this month. And that's pretty awesome, I really have to say. I thought that this thing went on for a while. The first thing is the Caution Mascara. From Hourglass, and the full size of this retails for $29, which is approximately what a high-end mascara is going for. Honestly, I said from my experience of the other many that I have, I mean, it's okay. It's, again... I like it. I'm enjoying using it. I did notice that it did flake off a little bit um, underneath my eyes. Uh, that I want to give it a few more chances and maybe with different things to see if that lasts. 
you know, of course, I always put um, everything on the screen for you, so even in my sickly state, I will do that. The Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment, the full size of this is $105. I do know that it's a very pricey product. This is what they are saying about this. Uh, the editor, uh, one of the editors of Allure magazine says that it makes your face tingle, uh, but in minutes your complexion is glowy and dewy. I'll use other lactic acid treatments, but they don't give you the plumpness and radiance that this does. I haven't used it long enough to really see that effect because I've only had samples of it. Gotta blow my nose. Okay, I can tell you the lip stay does <laughs> last through blowing your nose. The Ceramics Lip Cleanser is actually only $35, which I guess for a cleanser is still kind of pricey, but I really expected it to be more. According to what they're saying, it has a liquid consistency that foams just a touch and it's infused with detoxify clay that sucks oil and grime out of pores, which makes it ideal for normal to oily skin. I have very dry skin, so I don't know if I would use this right away. They do say that this is also good for breakouts. Okay. You say Laurent Tatouage um, Couture Matte Lipstick Stain. This is the full size of $37. I do have a hard time paying $37 for it. I guess you could have gotten a bunch of different colors, toddies, berries, and reds. Uh, perfection, the angled applicator creates the crispest, cup crisp bleh, crispest cupid's bow which is tough to achieve with liquidy formulas. It's also long wearing. No, I just wiped it all off. But it doesn't dry out the lips, that I will agree with. Caudalie Vito Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. This is, according to them, a beta hydroxy acid serum. This full size would be $49, and you can get 20% off a $100 purchase at caudalie.com. So by the way, the beta hydroxy acids are like your salicylic and the alpha hydroxy acids are more like the glycolic and the lactic, in case you're curious. First Aid Beauty Repair Cream, which is this little guy. This is $12 for a 2 ounce, so essentially this little puppy is $6, or you're paying $30 for 6 ounces. You can break that down any way you want to, essentially. But it's approximately a five or six dollar sample. They do say it is intensely hydrating with shea butter, squalanes, and ceramides. I don't know the order of them in the ingredient list, so I don't know how high up they are in the or how effective they are because of their um, place in the ingredient list. The BKR Paris Water Bomb. It says the pale pink tint, the slip, the the simple clear pot. This is quite possibly the chicest little lip balm I've ever seen. They say it has a thin, not waxy consistency, and the full size of this is twenty dollars. I said I have not heard of a uh, BKR before. So honestly, so here's my overall thoughts on everything. I'm really happy. Over the past few months, I think Allure, for their price point, because they're a little bit higher, I really think that they have listened to the feedback that their customers are giving them. They stepped up their game. They're including better brands, larger samples, more samples, and so far, I have enjoyed the last three to four boxes very, very much. Uh, and it didn't even come as late as it usually does. I mean, it's late, but it's not that late. So I will, I think the value of the box is well worth the $15 price tag. And once I have tried these products, as I'm getting to um, a lot of products and reviewing them and giving you guys my feedback at the end of the month, I will continue to let you know. And I will continue to thank you so much for all that you guys are and all that you guys do. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. I'm going to go get some rest, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love, everybody.